फ्रेंड्स नमस्ते आज हम लोग एक नए टॉपिक के बारे में जानना चाह रहे हैं वो है मेल स्टेरिलिटी एंड इट्स यूटिलाइजेशन इन हैबिट्स प्रोडक्शन कुछ बच्चों की डिमांड की वजह से मैंने ये आज का टॉपिक सिलेक्ट किया हूँ और इस टॉपिक का प्रैक्टिकल अप्लीकेशन हमें हाइब्रिड सी प्रोडक्शन में कैसे करना है और मेल स्टेरिलिटी होती क्या है कौन से कौन से मेल स्टेरिलिटीज है जिनका हम लोग हाइब्रिड सी प्रोडक्शन में यूज कर सकते हैं उनमें से सबसे फिजिबल मेल स्टेरिलिटी कौन सी है ये सारी चीजें हम लोग आज डिटेल में डिस्कस करेंगे वीडियो थोड़ा लंबा हो सकता है बट इट इज वेरी नीडेड टू गो थ्रू इन डिटेल्स ऑफ दिस टॉपिक लेट्स टॉक अबाउट व्हाट इज मेल स्टेरिलिटी इन टर्म इट सेल्फ द मीनिंग इज हिडन मेल स्टेरिलिटी स्टेरिलिटी इज डिफरेंट एंड मेल स्टेरिलिटी इज डिफरेंट इन केस ऑफ प्लांट्स मेल स्टेरिलिटी इज कैरेक्टराइज बाय नॉन फंक्शनल पोलन ग्रेन पोलन ग्रेन आर देयर बट दो पोलन ग्रेन आर नॉट फंक्शनल टू फर्टिलाइज दी सेम स्टिग्मा दैट इज दी कंडीशन एंड दैट कंडीशन इज नोन एज मेल स्टेरिलिटी जनरली सच टाइप ऑफ मेल स्टेरिलिटी अकर्स बिकॉज ऑफ म्यूटेशन और सम इन्वायरमेंटल फैक्टर्स दिस मेल स्टेरिलिटी वॉज फर्स्टली ऑब्जर्व बाय द साइंटिस्ट जेके कॉल रेटर इन द ईयर सेवनटीन सिक्सटी थ्री before discussing the entire topic i would like to uh, tell you the importance and necessity of using the male sterility in hybrid seed production why we are using the male sterility in hybrid seed production uh, can we not uh, multiply the seed without the um, male sterility by doing the manual emasculation So let's see. Some necessities are there. Number one is if you are using the male sterility, it will reduce the cost of hybrid seed production. What is hybrid? I will uh, explain it. The second necessity is production of yapon seeds on larger scale. You are going to produce the thousands of hybrid seeds on the farmer's field, and for that you have to take the use of any technology, and that technology is in terms of male. sterility it avoids the enormous manual work of emasculation and pollination why we have to do the emasculation to avoid the cell pollination because the required pollens from uh, the required male parent can be transferred onto the emasculated flower of female plant but for this energy is required labors are required and it's a very tedious and tough job to emasculate the flowers every day if we are using the male sterility then there is no need of manual emasculation because it is already male sterile line by using the male sterility you can speed up the hybridization program and the last one is commercial exploitation of hybrid vigor if you have the many uh, male sterile lines you can uh, make uh, hundreds of crosses by using the r line uh, with a line you can see the picture here if the flower size of any crop is very small as i have explained here the to avoids the manual emasculation uh, you can correlate this term with this flower size if your flower size is very small and you have to remove the male flower from this bisexual flower male organ from the bisexual flower for that you have to emasculate the each and every flower which is very very tough this is the flower of sorghum if uh, you have been told to multiply the um, seeds of sorghum how you will multiply this by manual emasculation or will you use the uh, male sterility 
where the manually mass collision is not required. Some uh, practical points I have written here. Bisexual flowers need to be emasculated before cell pollination because we are avoiding the cell pollination and we are transferring the pollens from the male parent to this sterile female parent. Emasculated line used as a female parent always. The manual emasculation of this small flower is very tough and need to produce the high uh, uh, hybrid seeds on larger scale to distribute among the farmer. अगर आपने कुछ बढ़िया हाइब्रिड डेवलप किया है साइंटिस्ट ने या प्लांट बिल्डर ने और उसका सीड्स फार्मर्स के पास uh, आप लोग दे ही नहीं पा रहे हो तो व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ दैट हाइल्डिंग हाइब्रिड्स सो टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट द हाइब्रिड सीड्स इन द हैंड ऑफ द फार्मर्स on larger scale we have to take the help of the technology that is the male sterility what are the different types of male sterility are there number one is genetic male sterility it is again classified on the basis of temperature sensitive genetic male sterility photo period sensitive genetic male sterility and transgenic male sterility the second type of male sterility is cytoplasmic male sterility which is governed by cytoplasm third one is cytoplasmic genetic male sterility which is which is governed by the interaction of cytoplasm as well as nuclear genes and the fourth one is chemically induced male sterility in this one we can use the gametocytes to induce the male sterility let's uh, discuss in detail the genetic male sterility genetic or nuclear male sterility is ordinarily governed by a single recessive gene that is ms but some dominant genes governing male sterilities are also known for example in case of safflower some dominant genes are also there for governing the male sterility or 70 different ms genes has been reported by different scientists 64 ms genes has been reported in tomato 57 in barley 54 in peas 25 in rice and so on how could you use the uh, gms system in maintaining the a line because when you are producing the hybrid you need to multiply the parental lines also in case of gms only two lines are there a line and b line a line is completely sterile line and b line is a maintainer line for producing the seed of a line what is to be done you can see here you have to make a cross in between the male sterile line and may uh, head uh, heterozygous fertile line but the the biggest disadvantage of this uh, gms male sterility is during the maintenance of the sterility the uh, only sterile lines can't be produced 50% male fertile uh, plants will be produced and 50% male sterile plants will be produced in such cases you have to uproot the fertile plants from the field that is not practically feasible that's why the gms system of male sterility is not being utilized on larger scale instead of this one the other gms male sterilities can be utilized number one is pgms that is temperature sensitive or genetic male sterility photo sensitive genetic male sterility and third one is transgenic male sterility among these three the two earlier two ones temperature and photo period sensitive male sterility are being utilized on larger scale in the country like china where the temperature remains stable photo period remains stable let's discuss what is mean by temperature sensitive sensitive means it is the lines which are sensitive to the temperature in this uh, type of gms male sterility is produced by the uh, ms gene at higher temperature that is above 23.3 degrees celsius in case of rice if the temperature 
comes below 23.3 degree Celsius, the sterile plants may become fertile. That's why the uh, term is written temperature sensitive genetic male sterility. What do you understand from this? The temperature must be about 23.3 degree Celsius for showing or expressing the sterility of that life. Same thing is in case of photoperiod sensitive genetic male sterility. The sterility will be only long day plants where the day length is more than 13 hours 45 minutes. If the plants or the line is grown under the short day condition, that sterility will become fertility, convert into the fertility. That's why the care must be taken while growing such sensitive genetic male sterile lines. The third one is transgenic male sterility. In case of transgenic, this is genetically engineered male sterility, which is dominant in nature. Here, the Barney gene produces the RNAs, which is present in epitome of the colon or anther, you can say. This uh, RNAs will get degraded with the help of the Barney gene. So for the Barney gene expression, the promoter is required, that is TA29. But because of this, the plants remain sterile here. You can see if the Barney's gene is producing the RNAs and that RNA will inhibit or the, degrade the tapetum, because of that, the plant remains sterile. At the same time, your bar star gene must be there in your uh, hand. For what? To avoid the degradation of tapetum. The bar star gene will divide or avoid the RNA degradation because of that, that anther or colon becomes fertile. Both the gene, Barnage and bar star, are isolated from the bacterium, Bacillus amyloliquifaciens. But uh, for your kind information, such type of male sterility is not being uh, utilized on larger scale because of its feasibility uh, limitation. The second type of male sterility after GMS, that is genetic male sterility, is a cytoplasmic male sterility. The term itself indicates the male sterility which is governed by the cytoplasm, is known as cytoplasmic male sterility. Since cytoplasm is coming from comes from the egg cell, that is mitochondria, and always it comes from the female parent. The nuclear genotype of male sterile line would be almost identical to that of maintainer line. A and B both are isogenic lines. Only one gene difference is there, and that gene is responsible for storing the fertility in A line during the maintenance of A. This is how we can maintain the male sterile lines. We can uh, make a cross in between A and B to produce the A line. A line is always male sterile and B line is always male fertile. This fertility is just only for restoring the uh, seed setting of A line because after harvesting the seeds from the A line again you have the male sterile line in your hand and this line is required for hybrid seed production. But uh, most important uh, disadvantage of this CMS is this can be only used in crop or species where the vegetative part is of economic value. You cannot use the CMS male sterility in the crop or species where the seed is having the economic value. This type of male sterility is found in onion, powder, jawar, cabbage, etc. 
third and foremost important type of male sterility is cytoplasmic genetic male sterility, which is widely used in habits reproduction. And for this, three types of lines are required. A line, B line, and R line. A line is a totally male sterile line, B line is a maintainer line, and R line is a restorer line. And such system is available in many crops like maize, jawar, bajra, sunflower, rice, wheat, etc. CGMS is also known as nucleoplasmatic male sterility. How you can maintain the male sterility using the CGMS? A, that is male style line, will be always crossed with B, that is maintainer line, to have the sufficient amount of A line. Okay. If you are utilizing the CGMS system for production of the hybrid, then you have to make a cross in between A line and R line, so that you can have the hybrids in heterozygous condition. The uh, line concept I have already explained in earlier video. You can go through the uh, earlier video and understand what is meant by A line, B line, and R line, and how those lines are used in hybrid seed production. What is the significance of male sterility in plant breeding? As we have discussed, the hybrid production requires a female plant in which no viable male gametes are born. Uh, in this situation, emasculation is done to make a plant divide of pollen so that it is uh, made female. Because we have two important lines, A and R. If A line is completely sterile line, there is no need of any emasculation. You can directly plant the seeds of A line and uh, adjacent to the A line, you can sow the seeds of R line so that the pollens from the R, R line can uh, drop onto the stigma of A line and hybrid seeds will get saved. As we have discussed, the most important disadvantage of GMS male sterility is segregation of fertile and sterile plants up in each generation. What are the limitations in using the male sterile line? As I have uh, told, among these four types of male sterility, which is mainly and broadly utilized in habit reproduction, that is CGMS, that is cytoplasmic genetic male sterility. Just we discuss, we can discuss the limitations of CGMS. What are the limitations? Existence and maintenance of ABR line is laborious and difficult. You have to maintain all these three lines. Then only you, you will be able to produce the hybrid seed. If exotic lines are not suitable to our conditions, the native or adaptive lines have to be converted to male sterile lines. And for the conversion, many years are required. Convert the fertile lines into the sterile line. By using the backcross breeding method, you can convert the male sterile lines in any of your background. Adequate cross pollination should be there between A and R lines for good seed set. If the R line doesn't have the good amount of pollen load, then the seed setting will not be proper there and ultimately the yield will get reduced. Then uh, next Limitation is synchronization of flowering. Synchronization means the A line and R line both must be uh, flowered at the same time so that cross pollination can take place. Fertility restoration should be complete, otherwise, the F1 seed will be sterile. The isolation. Isolation is needed for maintenance of the parental lines and for producing the hybrid seed. So, friends, this is all about the male sterility and uh, use of male sterility in hybrid seed production. In uh, coming video, I'm focusing on the hybrid seed production of some field crops. Take care, goodbye, and be in touch. Keep watching.